Health Education England have brought together today the Advanced Clinical Practice Community for the third National Advancing Practice Conference. There are 1.4 million people working in the NHS and many, many more colleagues working in social care. You know, you are special people to get up every day and do what you do. Delegates today can expect to have an incredibly busy day of hearing the latest news about what's happening in advanced practice, but also spending a lot of time in workshops, really thinking through some of the issues that we are dealing with to really start to help us understand the opportunities, the solutions, and really the art of the possible in this agenda. We've met together to think through some really challenging stuff. If it was easy, it would have happened already. This is not easy. This is a really wicked issue to crack. So ACP is new to us, so I'm here to develop some new skills, do some networking, find out what other centres are doing. The good thing about this kind of event is you learn new stuff the workshops they've uh, put on, but also networking with people who are currently in the role, finding a bit more about the actual role itself through their own experiences. Definitely very useful. Uh, already made some contacts and also heard some other ideas that other trusts are already doing and pioneering, so I've been really enthused. Been great, been really good. The last workshop was really useful, really stimulating thought, so it was great. I'm looking forward to the rest of it. We've got a really mixed audience today. We've got people who are working as advanced practitioners currently or as consultant practitioners. We've got people delivering university programs, training people to be advanced clinical practitioners. And we have employers who are employing, working with and really developing this workforce. And I believe uh, passionately that healthcare is a team sport and that everyone has a role to play. I think everyone should have an opportunity to come along to this. I think if someone who's interested in role development or going into an ACP role, finding a bit more about how it works and getting an idea of, like I said, some of the good practice, I think it'll be a really good starter for them to come here to get the network, to meet the people and to get some guidance and advice, really. So just hearing different perspectives from different places and being able to ask questions in real time or to challenge some of the things that, that, that are happening and, and be able to get a deeper understanding, bring that back to base, that's absolutely valuable. So I'd recommend it to anyone. Definitely make the effort. It's really, it's really good to go. I've learned a lot over the free conferences that I've been to, loads of networking opportunities. It's great to get real updates from the people that are writing those initiatives. And the key thing is to book early for the conference because the tickets go quite quickly. So the prize for the best poster, as judged by the scientific community, hey, hey, scientific community, talk about making ourselves feel important, I mean, goodness me, oh my gosh. So, the prize for this goes to Annalie Baker. <laughs> Annalie, well done, congratulations, terrific effort, we're really proud of you and of the poster, so thank you so much indeed. The most exciting part of the day for me is, is everybody's brains coming together to work on the problems together because we get such better outcomes. The plans at work are those that are created by the people that then make that magic happen for the patients that they serve. And so the prize for the best poster as judged by you lot goes to Claire Guthrie. Any well done Claire, you can come up this way, throw yourself across the stage. Joy will present you with your prize. Well done, Claire. The end goal of the conference is to ensure that we continue on our journey towards enabling everybody to understand the potential opportunity of advanced clinical practice.